Hello, my name is Swan. And my name is Ismar. And we are the representatives of the Richmond Park School in Bihać, from Bosnia and Herzegovina. The name of our project is Radio What? And the goal of our project is to get rid of nuclear waste. What is nuclear waste? Nuclear waste is waste that is not intended for future use. Radioactive waste contains radioactive isotopes of such activities that exceed the limit values prescribed by the relevant legislation. Uranium is a chemical element with the symbol U and atomic number 92. The distribution of uranium in nature varies between geographical locations. It is present in soil, biota, fresh and salt water. Natural uranium sources can be of natural and anthropogenic origin. It is ecologically important element, but due to its radioactive properties, it must be removed. So, how did we do this project? Well, we planned, and we did, clean the earth from radioactive substances using just one little plant. That plant's name is sage. Sage is a perennial semi-shrubby plant. It has a strong root and a woody stem. Sage is a plant that is very suitable for growth in any area because it can easily adapt to any condition. Radioisotopes mimic some of the nutrients that the plant takes up normally, and so the plant really doesn't distinguish between those radioactive isotopes and some of the nutrients like potassium and calcium that it takes up as a matter of course. Unlike other good phytoremediators such as corn, potatoes and sunflower, however, their use after the process has proven to be risky for nutritional purposes. We can rightly conclude that medicinal sage is an effective remedy for soil contaminated with uranium as well. The instrumental method used for the analysis of uranium removed from the aqueous solution is UV vis spectrometry. The steps that we have done during the spectrometry were soil contamination, planting plant seeds in the contaminated soil, extracting seeds from the ground, and the UV vis analysis by spectrometric methods. Chemicals that we use in our project are uranium nitrate, hexahydrate, perchloric acid, arsenazo, hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, hydrogen peroxide, citric acid, distilled water, and calcium carbonate. Instruments that we used are UV vis spectrophotometer, analytical scale, and technical scale. We decided to calculate the amount of uranium removed from already planted and grown sage and sage grown from seeds in the contaminated soil. The already grown sage resulted in 28.4% efficiency of removing uranium for 420 grams of uranium and citric acid additive. Samples of sage grown in contaminated soil from seeds showed a higher degree of uranium accumulation than samples planted in the form of pelsers. By adding citric acid to the soil, the uranium content of the total basal biomass was increased two times that of the soil without the addition of the specified additive, with the same uranium concentration in the soil. The process is efficient because sage is a perennial plant and the test results showed its endurance in bioaccumulation of uranium, where after five years the efficiency of phytoremediation would be above 85%. It has been proven that the presence of heavy metals in the plant tissue accumulated from the soil does not affect the composition of sage oil produced. Since uranium is a thermostable element, we can conclude that the uranium content of the plant will not affect the oil quality, which indicates an economically viable project that does not harm the environment. This research has shown that sage, an aesthetically beautiful and fragrant plant, is able to completely remove uranium from contaminated soil and later be used for producing healthy and uranium-free sage oil or to produce pellets for starting fire. This is an economically viable project and it saves our environment as well.